Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I made this cute little paper squishy. I absolutely love it. Just look at its cute little face. It's so cute. But before I get into the video it's obviously my Christmas giveaway time. So I'm opening another door on the advent calendar and I'm not gonna lie I've stood here for about five minutes trying to find the door and it's right at the top. So this is even better because today we're gonna be able to see it be opened because you know it's all over the place basically um i have no idea what's behind the door because i put these all in like last week and honestly i can't remember what's behind each one so we're just gonna open it up and see which squishy is going to be in the giveaway for today's opening that makes no sense i think painting over this was a great idea because it's kind of sealed all the doors shut in which i then know i'm gonna have to use my scissors to kind of pry it open Okay, so we have a Hello Kitty one. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. This is one of the snowy Hello Kitty designs, which I think a Straya design. Please don't, if that's wrong, I do apologise, but I think so. But this is like the snowy princess Hello Kitty donut design. This was actually gifted to the advert calendar from Delightful Boutique so we've got to say a huge shout out to them obviously if you want to buy this squishy I will leave it down in the description down below it's a really really gorgeous squishy and I talk about these Hello Kitty donuts all the time I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because I know I don't want to rip the tag for you guys but this is how it squishes really really slow really nice I just squish it like that at an angle you can kind of see it a little bit better slow rising look at it go it's so gorgeous this is the behind with the just hello kitty branding and there's the design all the way around this would make a fabulous stocking filler or something or even just a fabulous gift for any squishy collector you might know because if someone bought me a squishy for christmas i would love it i'm not gonna lie so like i said i'll leave the like link in the description of where you can buy this just in case but if you want to be in with a chance to win it all you have to do is comment down below with the hashtag chelsea diy miss obviously all these squishies that are in behind the doors will be collected and done as a huge giveaway on christmas day and there'll be five winners in total you can enter on every single one of my videos on the lead up to christmas just using that hashtag and yeah that's how you win it's really really simple and all of everything will be down in the description down below because i know just how bad i am at explaining this in every video i'm hoping it's going to get better the more we kind of move on forward but you never know so like i said in today's video we are doing the paper squishy christmas pudding i'm really really happy with this honestly i think it's so so cute as i probably already said a million times i have squished it with um some old squishy actually well, it's some new squishy that's been cut up. You will see that. Um, and I do apologise, but it's the giant unicorn one that I actually did cut up. See, it does actually work as a squishy. It might be an even greater way to use your recycled squishies if you don't want to, like, make them over. If you don't have any puffy plates or anything, this might be a great way to kind of give them a makeover. You never know. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just going to get straight on into the video because I don't need to take up any more of your time. So I've just taken this brown felt tip end of the Magic Fly pens, which I will leave down in the description down below because they are the best pens ever. Not spawny, I always say this, but they are the best pens that I've ever bought for paper squishies. So I, like I said, I'll leave the Amazon link down in the description down below for them. But I'm just going to go ahead and draw. I'm going to go with the fine liner side. I lied. Start with the fine liner side. I'm going to draw a circle. doesn't have to be perfect mine certainly isn't perfect if you do want it perfect you can obviously draw around something but I'm just going to mark out where like the white icing part will be and then down here I'm just going to colour it all in brown Okay, so now that it's brown, it has got these little lines on, but I know for sure that they're going to dry it down. But I'm just going to use a Posca pen with a little colour of black and just do kind of like a little black, like shady bits to act as like raisins or whatever is in your Christmas bread. So just like that. I'm next going to put a little face on, just using the Posca pen as well. So I'm going to start off with the big eye. 
You can also use a Sharpie pen on this, like I usually use a Sharpie pen, but I just can't find it, so Oscar pen is gonna help me out on this. You can also just use the back black felt tip, but you're gonna wait till like the brown dries because it will seep into it. Okay, you can't even deny that this is already the cutest Christmas pudge you've ever seen in your life. Um, next I'm just going to take a red and a green and put holly onto the top of that because I find like all Christmas puts have holly on the top right. Now with the red I'm just going to add some berries, I always like to do three, I'm not sure why. So I think three holly berries and then two holly little leaves, super cute. Now just to top this one off I'm just going to add a little bit of white bottle pen to act as the highlight of the eyes. And this is the bit that I feel like kind of like really sets it off. I'm actually just going to cover a tape and put the Posca pen over the tape. Ugh. So yeah, if you put the tape down first and then put the Posca pen on top, it usually sticks out a lot brighter. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cute. So cute. I'm just going to cover the whole entirety of the shape in tape and I will be back once again. Now that she's all taped up, I'm just going to fold over this piece of paper in half. Whether she'll fit on there is another story. I think I've made it a little bit too fat. Oh yeah, actually, she's just fitting perfect. So I'm just going to fold that in half and then cut around the whole entirety of the shape. Just leaving it a little bit still folded over like so. And I'm going to cut on the inside of a brown fineliner pen that I put there before because we don't need a brown outline around the white bit. I'm going to leave that bit there, still connected to hold it all together. So in order to tape it up, I'm just going to take small bits of tape around about this size, stick it over, pop little slits, probably three, I've got three kind of bits of tape, and then just wrap it around like so, and I'm going to do that all the way around until I reach this part. Okay, now I've made it all the way around. As you can see, take all the way, all the way around. I've now got this gap left. I'm just gonna cut off that tab because that's what's keeping it all together. Make sure it's nice and rounded and not straight like I just cut it there. Just like so. And then using that little gap, you can kind of stuff inside your paper squishy. You can use whatever you want to stuff inside. You can use toilet paper, cotton wool balls. You can use plastic bags for like shopping and stuff. You can use all sorts of stuff, toy stuffing, whatever you have handy. I usually use just to cut up memory foam, like off cuts that I have from previous products. I do have all these bits on my table just from like the unicorn that I cut up the other day. But I'm currently in the middle of doing the redeco for and I have absolutely ruined it. Like, here's this poor ear. R.I.P. Unicorn, I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I might just use these bits because obviously I have them all hanging around. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stuff the shape and then just tape it shut. Now that I have a whole load of bits of dead unicorn <laughs> inside, I'm just going to kind of pinch it together and then just tape up my shape. Now, of course, you do not have to use old squishies inside your paper squishies. That would be ridiculous if I advised that. But you can, of course, if you have like bits hanging around like me, or like I said, I will leave a big kind of long list of stuffing ideas in the description down below so you can get an idea if you don't have any of your own. Okay, so once it's all sealed up, as you can see, my little pudding decoration is then complete. I haven't done the other side just because I couldn't really be bothered like that, but you can of course do that. I know with some of mine I do, some of mine I don't, but it's really down to preference of whether you do or don't. I don't really see the back, so I don't really see the point in doing that. But this is how it looks from the front. The squishiness of it is really, really good because of the fact it has got a dead unicorn squishy inside, which of course I'm not expecting everybody to be able to stuff it with so I will of course leave a long list of the squishy kind of like fillings and everything and like ideas and stuff that have been sent my way. I just obviously had this already on my desk so it would be rude to throw it in the bin and just waste it when I could just pop it inside a squishy. But it does squish really really nicely, it actually feels really really nice and it does squish really slow just like the original squishy did except it's just in a cute little kind of wrapper. 
so there's that one and I'm really really happy with how it turned out so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow for another DIY and also make sure to comment down below to enter into the giveaway using the hashtag Chelsea DIY if you haven't already so yeah hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video bye